Hello, my name is Genevieve. I'm the captain of the Galveston Bay Foundation team this year for Bike Around the Bay. Um, this video, I am going to show you guys how to log into your participant center and use the email function in order to start fundraising. Um, if this is your first year registering, um, this will probably be useful, even if it's not your first time. Um, if you haven't used this function, it is built in for you to be able to easily upload contacts and to send out um, emails that we've written for you um, or to draft your own emails and send out kind of en masse to your contacts. So um, what you're going to do is first go to the Bike Around the Bay website, www.bikearoundthebay.org. Um, and to log in, you should have set up a username and password when you registered. So mine's already loaded here. I'm just you're going to type in your username, your password, hit log in. And then this participant center button will show up and this will take you in a new window to your participant center. There's three tabs in it, a home tab, which has kind of your status update, your goal. If you want to edit your fundraising goal, you can do so here. Um, if you haven't already or you would like to, you can create a Facebook fundraiser as well. Um, I've already done this, but there'll be a button that says create and it will kind of walk you through it. Um, you can also see your recent activity, people who have joined your team, uh, messages that you've sent, um, all my contacts that I've uploaded. Um, so if this is your first time logging in, you're going to want to update your personal page. If you have a specific message or want to upload a photo, here's mine. I've uploaded a photo of me um, doing a previous ride. Um, you can edit your personal page and edit your story. So there's one a default language already set up, but you can delete it entirely and completely upload a new one. So I retyped it, I'll get rid of all these exclamation points. Um, and then you just hit save and then it will save it for you. And you can close out of that tab and go back. So if you want to send emails, you're going to go back up and go to this email tab. And in here, the first thing you're going to want to do is to upload contacts. Um, so I've got a bunch of previous uh, emails from my donors and other emails, but if you have your first time logging in, you're going to have nothing here. So you'll hit on contacts and you have an option to either add contacts one at a time or to import contacts from one of your um, email services. So here uh, you have the option to select Gmail or Yahoo Mail or your other generous, generic address book if you have one. Um, I use Gmail so I can click Gmail, go next, and it will open a separate window that will allow you to log in and then it will pull all of your contacts for you and load them into the participant center. So I've already done that. So once you have your contacts loaded, you can click this compose message button or if you just um, click right onto the email tab it will already load a, a blank message for you. Um, so you can manually enter your own recipients or you can go to your contacts and hand select people that you would like to contact and email the selected. I'm just going to do a test email. Uh, email our um, info at bikearoundthebay.org which if you have any questions about Bike Around the Bay you can email this address and we'll get back to you. Um, in the email we have a bunch of sample templates that are already written for you. So if you're a team captain, you'll have this join my team email draft um, or message to your team members. Um, but if you're just going to start out, you can click please support me. And so we have this little message about what Galveston Bay Foundation does. So what all of the donations are going to help support um, all our programs in conservation and restoration here. Um, and then at the end, you'll put in your name. So you can edit this however you'd like. And then it will give you the option to preview your message. So you can also change the subject line if you'd like. Message has our nice Bike Around the Bay header in it. And then at the bottom, it will automatically include a link to your personal fundraising page, which is where people can make donations. So it's pretty convenient. And then after, if you like the way it looks, then you're just going to hit send, and there it goes. So, um, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, um, but it's uh, pretty simple. And 
Alternatively, if you don't want to use this email function but you still want to direct people to your page, you can come back to that home tab and always just copy and paste your personal page link um, and paste it into an email or a text message and it will direct people right to your page to be able to donate. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful.